I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up Pixelcade on your RetroPie. So from RetroPie, let's assume you have a Raspberry Pi, for example. First thing you want to do is enter this command to set up your Wi-Fi and also to turn on this thing called SSH so you can remote shell into your RetroPie device to set up Pixelcade. So go ahead and type this command and then Go to system options, and this is where you'll set up your Wi-Fi. I'm gonna skip this, but that's pretty self-explanatory. And then go down to interface options, click on SSH, and we want to enable this. I'm gonna hit yes. And that only enables us to basically remote into your Pi. Now, on your network, as long as your PC or device, I happen to be on a Mac, you could be on a Windows PC as well. Just go out to a command line this, command line like this, and type in this command, ssh pi at retropi.local. Um, this usually works if your network supports this thing called MDNS. Um, if that doesn't work, then you'll need to get the IP address of your Pi. Just Google around on how to do that. You can check your router. There's there's many other ways to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Hit yes here. And then the password, default password is Raspberry. So I'm gonna type in Raspberry. And now I'm I am basically have a remote connection into my Raspberry Pi. Now to install Pixelcade, go to a web browser, type pixelcade.org. Go here, go down to Raspberry or RetroPi. And then let's assume you're on a Pixelcade LED device. So I'm just going to copy and paste this command. It's a lot faster than typing it in. Go back to my command prompt and just cut and paste and hit enter. Okay, so then basically this is going to check a number of things. Here's the first thing, this is really important. So for Pixelcade to work, it needs a newer version of this thing called Emulation Station. Now at the time of this recording, Surprisingly or not, um, the latest RetroPie, which at this time was 4.8, did not have the right version of emulation station that Pixelcage needs. So that's what the script is telling us here. And the good news is there's a way to update that manually. So I'm gonna hit yes. And then that's basically gonna launch the existing RetroPie updater. So I'm gonna go here, click on update, and basically, I'm just going to hit yes to everything. Okay, that got the latest version of the update script. Okay, might as well do this while we're here. This just basically updates the underlying operating system. That's always a good idea to do. All right, I know that took a while, but once you see this, that means that the RetroPie updates have been completed, including that new version of Emulation Station that we need for Pixelcade. So just go ahead and hit Enter for OK. And we can exit out of here. Don't reboot, just exit out. And at this point, the Pixelcade script will continue. Now, if you, have to have, if you happen to have Pixelcade LCD as well, it will detect that. As you see, it's done there. I'm just going to hit no. All right, so at this point, we're done. Uh, if you look over on your Pixelcade, you should see a logo that says 1941. If it says that, then everything installed correctly. And just hit yes here and go ahead and hit yes and let's do a reboot.